Good evening, teacher. <laughs> Good evening, Marlon. How's it going? Everything's great, teacher. A little bit tired, but we have. Let's prepare a meal shake tonight. Yes, there you go. <laughs> yeah, she's using the wait. Okay, no problem. Don't worry about it. Okay, it's done. Yeah, they're making a shake for the kids. And I'm next to the kitchen, so there's a lot of noises. Erika, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? I'm uh, tired. <laughs> okay, let's clear that out. Repeat. Tired. Tired. The. Tired. Perfect. See? Tired, tired, tired. You got tired, it. Tired, tired. Tired. I'm tired. Okay. If you say I'm tired, I'm tired. Yo soy llanta. I'm tired. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good. Why? Why are you so tired? It's, uh, my day is so. Hard. My days are so hard. In my work. At, at work. At work. Why? What because, are you doing? Uh, because I. Uh, ¿Cómo se puede decir? He andado de arriba para abajo. O sea, caminando mucho. How do you, repeat. How do you say? How do you say? He andado para arriba para abajo. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. How do you say andado para arriba para abajo? Repeat. How do you say andado de arriba para abajo? I've been up to down. I've been up to down. I've been up to down. That's where I will say it. I've been up and down. I've mm. been everywhere. I've been jumping around the whole day. I've been jumping around the whole day. That's the way. I've been jumping around the whole day. Okay, it's been a difficult day. Yes. And that's present perfect. I've been jumping around. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you jump around all day, okay, simple present. If you jump around all day, what's the result, Marlon? I am tired. Your Future. feet, your ah. feet will hurt. Will hurt. Your feet will hurt. Feet. Uh -huh. Your feet, feet will hurt because it's plural, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Your feet will hurt. How do you say tus pies se hincharán? Your feet will became, become. No se hinchar, hinchar. You don't know? Swollen, mm -hmm. swollen. Swollen. Yep, swollen. Your feet will get swollen. Will get swollen. My get swollen. 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 Hey, swollen. Richard, welcome. Well, how are you? I'm doing great. Doing you great. cry because uh, you are alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not you alone. Know. No, I'm not alone. Yet. <laughs> no. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's been a tough day. It's been a tough day. Repeat. It's been a tough day. 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 Stop saying it's, it's been... Good. Stop saying... I had a hard day. It was a hard day. Try to use something else. Always try to use different things. Don't forget that. It's been a spinning. tough. How do you write the spinning? No, no, no. It's, it has been a tough day. Ah. 
It's been a tough day. Now you're talking in present perfect. It's been a mm -hmm. tough day. It's been a tough day. Okay, I got it. Okay. Okay, so if I had a tough day, if I have a tough day, sorry, simple present. If I have a tough day. You may to relax, to get relaxed. You, when? After you do your dues. <laughs> How do you say, vas a caer dormido? Fall asleep. Okay, you no. will? Fall asleep. You will fall asleep like a rock. Like a rock, right? You will fall asleep really quick. Okay. If you talk a lot in the English class, Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to help you a little bit, okay? Because I'm expecting you to give me a specific phrase, let's say. So if you talk a lot in the English class, podrías aprender más rápido. Next. Podrías aprender más rápido. Someone, someone. You will. Podrías. Aprender más rápido. You might, you might learn very fast. Más rápido? Or more fast? Faster. 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 Good, Giovanni. Thank you, Richard. Great job. So if, <laughs> if you speak a lot in English class, you might learn faster. Sir. Faster. Good. Um... You will pass the English level. You will pass the English level si completas los ejercicios de la plataforma. If you, you will complete, complete the platform exercise. If you complete the platform exercises, perfect. Simple present. If I tell you the result you come up with, the conditional, don't forget it. Very good. Without comma. Without a comma, that's right. Okay. Um, if we run out of water. If we, if, if we run out of water in Latin America, if we run out of water, in Latin America, el agua se empezará a vender. If we run out of water in Latin America, el agua se empezará a vender. It were the word or it water. Hmm. It, no. Está generalizando. Water will will uh, uh, start Empezará. to send to a vender. Vender, vender. No. I can't remember the the bird. Okay, uh, the water will start to be sold. Mm. A ser ah. ben, vendida. Vendida, Right, my bad. Okay. The water will start to be sold. Actually, um, did you notice or did you hear the news that water started going on to the market stock of exchange water started to 
to waters became this week this week water became part of the exchange stock market exchange stock market wall street wall street now, you talk about trading yes water reservoirs are becoming part of the stock exchange market of wall street so now you can invest on water reservoirs Perdón, solo, 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 solo por como duda, cotizar entonces sería uh -huh. en inglés. Oh, I'm cotizar sorry, I, I'm not using no, I'm not using that verb right now. Cotizar, no estoy ocupando cotizar. It, it, I just said it went in and se introdujo. Ajá, uh -huh. como stock, como stock de mercado, eh, los reservorios de agua. So now you can start investing. Puedes estar, empezar a invertir en los um, I was watching the news on CNN and I was like, what? <laughs> They're selling water. That's crazy. And next we will have the air. In the future, maybe here in our country. Well, you know, Latin America is blessed. Latin <laughs> America has been blessed with a lot of natural waters. So mm -hmm. we're good. I think we're good. Okay, now is your turn. I promised you to start this night class with a dynamic. So I'll just go ahead and split you and you have to give examples like the ones that I'm giving you. Okay, so challenge a classmate. Go ahead and say, Marlon, if you, don't, if you don't eat healthy. I will become fat. Good. Vieron lo que hice. Se le digo a Marlon, le digo la condicionante y empiezo a contar. Mm. Oh my God. Ok. Next. Ok, para que tenga dinamismo esto, sacarle los cinco dedos. Ok, si lo querés, sacarle diez dedos. Empiezo a contar. Good. Good. ¿Lo querés más? Bueno. <risa> Okay, good. Let's play, guys. Let's play. Let's become dynamic. Come on, push, push your classmates. Push your classmates so they can talk. Talk, talk, talk. Okay, let's go. Ahorita no vamos a poder borrar aquí. Okay. Espérate que yo termine. Where are you? Bueno, pero démosle pues. Eh, Ricardo, what, what if you don't have money? If you don't have money. If you don't have money. Uh -huh. uh, I don't buy anything. I pero sería en futuro, ¿verdad? I won't. No. I won't buy anything. Ok. O no, uh, well, no, puede ser en presente. Let's try. No Vamos a procurar no agregar la WH antes. Solamente decir la oración, la condicionante. If you don't, buy, if you don't have money. Uh -huh. Or esa frase es más natural escucharla como If you have no money. Que es otro tema. No money. If you have uh -huh. no money. If you have no money. Si no tiene dinero. If you have no money. Pero la respuesta siempre sería en, 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 fut, bueno, en futuro. Sí, sí, will... Tú estás diciendo la condicionante que es presente uh -huh. simple. Le tienen que contestar con futuro o algún um, sí. modal, right? Ah, ok. Probabilidad. Okay. Chivo, okay. Chivo. Vaya, démosle. Hoy usted, Ricardo. Ok. okay. Let me see. Uh -huh. If you don't. Hurry, you don't hurry, if you don't hurry, take the bus. If you don't hurry to take the bus, good. 
I will lose it. Perfect. Oh, you should. Juan, are you there? No. In, in what moment do you think about when you go to the to the work? Hi, hi. No, oh, hermano, sorry. Oh, no, sorry. Nice to hear you. It's nice to hear you. Nice okay. to hear you. Okay. Sorry, I, I cook in my dinner. Oh, I, yeah. I, Juan, 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 if you don't cook your dinner, <laughs> I I don't eat. <laughs> future, I will future. I will, I will. I will. I won't. Didn't. No, no I, I won't. I, I want dinner. I want. I want. I want um, eat. 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 I want eat. I yes. want eat. Perfect. Good and point. if you and if you don't eat. If you don't eat, I I will take hungry. <laughs> I will stay hungry. I will stay hungry. Good one. Thank you. I'll 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 be starving. I'll be starving. No voy a estar muriendo de hambre. I will be starving. No voy a estar muriendo de hambre. Me estaré muriendo de hambre. Okay. Good job, guys. Keep going. Hey. Okay. If you don't pay attention to what you're doing, Juan, if you don't pay attention to what you're doing, ouch. Okay. See, will, will. you will be. No. You will yeah. get burned. Burn. <laughs> get burned. Get burned. If you don't pay attention to what you're doing, si no pones atención a lo que estás haciendo, uh, you, you will get burned. Te vas a, te quemarás, te quemarás. So be careful, okay? I'll be well, Juan. Dale, Juan. Vamos, dinos uno. <laughs> yeah. Um, another question. <clears throat> If you don't take a shower, I will. Teacher, perdón, no estuve ayer en clase, estaba en mi trabajo. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> you will stink. That's right. Oh, it's okay, Mercy. Welcome. It's okay. Don't worry. So what we're doing is using simple present. Okay. Uh, so you have if simple present and then the result, which is in the future. or consequence, let's say. Okay, so tengo, si, uh, puedo usar una negativa, claro que sí. If you don't eat, okay. Si no como, si no comes, ¿cuál sería la consecuencia en el futuro? No sería saludar. Perdón. No, you will uh, uh -huh. sick enfermaría. Oh, you'll get sick. Very good. You'll get sick. If you don't eat, you'll get sick. Very good example. Ahora ese will yo lo puedo cambiar con diferentes modales. Yo estaría diciendo algo diferente, pero el punto es que estos eh, el acción en el presente te va a repercutir, va a tener un, un va a afectar el, fata, el, fu, el futuro. Oh my God, my Spanish, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Se me está la lengua la traba, perdón. <laughs> este, esta acción, el presente va a afectar el futuro. Ok, si afecta el futuro, voy a ocupar will. Oh. Ok, si afecta el futuro, voy a ocupar will. Se podría afectar... Eh, voy a ocupar might. 
um, si puede que afecte, voy a ocupar may. Incluso puedo ocupar would para hablar de una probabilidad de que esa acción podría o afectaría más bien, afectaría el futuro. So, afectará, podría afectar, puede que afecte, afectaría el futuro. Ok, so if you don't eat, you might get sick, podrías enfermar. Um, you may get sick. Puede que te enfermes. Um, you would get sick. Te enfermarías. Okay. okay. So, okay. su misión ahorita es una de las dos decir la cláusula condicionante que es en el presente simple y la persona mm -hmm. tiene que decir la cláusula de consecuencia que es en cualquiera de esos tiempos, el futuro o ocupando un modal. Okay. 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 Let's try it. Let me hear you. In this case, if you eat fast food. Fast food. Uh huh. If you eat fast food, what happens? Ay, ¿cómo se dice? Sí, ingestaría. Perdón, ¿quién lo dijo? ¿Lo dijo Mercy? No, Erika. Erika, ok. Mer Andrew, so, Mercy, ajá. Uh -huh. If you eat fast food. And you are in the gift. Uh, no hacer bien la digestión, ¿cómo sería? Indigestarse. Ok. You will get a di di digestion you want. Hold on. Porque ahí lo que puede hacer es que si come rápido, obviamente se va a ingestar. No, es que está hablando, perdón, no, es... está hablando de comida no, rápida, porque... Mercy. Fast food, comida rápida. If you eat, if you eat fast food, si comes comida ah, rápida. Pero... So, so, uh, you will. Okay. You will get fat. Muy bien. Get fat. You will get fat. Very good. Okay. Mercy, tratemos de hacer la cláusula condicionante. Si tú. Si tú no estudias, if you don't study. Mm -hmm. Okay, Erika. I may mm. not. Oh. Uh, you might not. Mm -hmm. You may not uh, understand the class. Perfect pronunciation. <laughs> okay. Good girls, we have to study this topic, okay? Okay. Good. Okay. topic. Okay. Good. Continue. Keep going. I'll go to another classroom. Keep it up. Keep it up. Okay. Me? Yes. Okay. Uh, for example, if you, if you don't uh, wake up early. I would. I would. I will go late to my job. I will be late. I will be late. At work. No, at work. I'll be late at work. I'll be late at work. I'll be late for work Ajá. or work at work. Teacher, tenemos una duda aquí con un ejemplo que estábamos comentando. Mm -hmm. por, por example, uh, dice, if you don't make the homework, if you don't I... do... Perdón? If you don't do your homework... 
Uh, if you don't do, you mm -hmm. don't homework. do. Yeah. If you don't do your homework, yes. What you is don't do? Si, ocupas do, no make para el homework. If you don't do your homework. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. The well, answer nice. can be uh -huh. I want. You want. Si quieres hacer algún ejemplo. You, you want, want. Pass. The course. The course. Very good. You want pass the course. Excellent. Very you good. Ah, okay. okay. We have the dub in, in this case. Do or make. With respect. Uh, a wheel. Oh, uh, regarding will or about will? Uh -huh. Yeah, want. Pass the course. You can okay. say will not or want. Mm -hmm. It's the same. It's the same thing. Okay. 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 Next. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, Kike. Um, uh -huh. If you don't buy uh water mm. if you buy water if you don't buy water if you, if don't, you don't buy oh if you don't buy water uh -huh. don't buy don't buy water i don't understand buy water buy if you don't but, buy water uh -huh. is is pagar Mm, you use money, but you pay in the in the market. Can you translate this, please? Uh, si no compras compras agua. Ah, buy, buy. Si tú no compras agua. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Te la van a cortar. No. Uh -huh. no, no. Mm, no, no. No, si, comp si no compras agua, si no compras agua. Te vas a deshidratar, pero... Uh -huh. Okay, how do you say that? If you don't buy water, uh, let me see. I will take water by the chorro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you don't buy water, you will get... You'll get... Dehydrated. Uh -huh. You'll get dehydrated. Dehydrated. It will be dehydrated. Uh -huh. And in the example that Kiki say, a uh, chorro. In, oh, for, for in, set. in English. For set. For set. It's, it's a French word, but yes. Americans yeah. use it. Set. Chorro, faucet, faucet. Is that okay? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Faucet. Faucet. Okay, okay, another one. Um, tell me. Um, let me see. If yeah. you, uh, sorry. Eh, Pine, puede, puede hacer usted entonces. Es que una. Una condicionante, una condicionante, recuerden, presente simple. If you don't eat, uh, hello, veo que, veo que todos están ocupando negativas. Oh. Qué negativos. <laughs> hey. Porque es más fácil. Bueno, entonces, le voy a quitar el don a la que estoy, estoy haciendo. Vaya. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you eat healthy, creo Health. que así se pronuncia. Good. Healthy. 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 Perfecto, if you very eat good. Healthy, mm -hmm. If, if you I have... eat if I eat healthy, I will be fit. Perfect. I'll be fit. ¿Cuál la respuesta, Johnny? I'll I'll be fit. 
I be fit. Be. Fit. I'll be fit. Fit. Puede estar delgado. Y, uh, en forma. Oh, en forma. <laughs> hey, guys. Tomorrow is Friday. If you drink a lot, I will be happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will be happy. You will get drunk. Remember, you'll get drunk. If you drink too much, you'll get drunk. Okay, great job. Let's go back. Okay. Ok, uh, creo que está bastante claro ese, este tema. Y también creo que estamos esperando a que regresen algunos aún. ¿Alguna pregunta en lo que esperamos sus compañeros? Any question you may have. ¿Cómo se llama el tema que estamos viendo, Tizi? Eh, estamos viendo el primer condicional, Carlos. El primer condicional, que es el uso del presente, una condicionante en presente, la cual va a afectar a un futuro eh, o da la probabilidad de afectar después, ¿no? No sé, pero la condicionante va a estar en presente y por regla general podría ser que esté en futuro el resultado o la consecuencia de esa acción que llevas a cabo en este momento. Uh, como que yo te dijese, si no trabajo. Ah, no trabajo, no. No comeré. No comeré. Uh -huh. Le una, el, el presente lleva a la acción futura. Por decirlo así. La consecuencia. Ah. Uh -huh. Siempre tiene que ser, verse afectada esa consecuencia por la acción en el presente. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Uh -huh. Ok. Good. Next, we have a reading about this topic on unit, I mean, section four. Just to close the section, there is a reading on section four. There's a short video. Hmm. Let's watch the video before we move on to practice reading in couples. Okay, let's pay attention. After what you have read, can you tell us which one is more difficult for you? Falling in love or staying in love? Share your opinion on our discussion box. After what you have read. Okay, so this is after the reading. Sorry. Um, after reading this, uh, <laughs> this lecture, we're going to give our personal opinion about the topic. Sorry. Okay, so let's go with the reading. I'm going to do it first, and then you can read it alone. So listen, I know this is a long reading, but let's practice. This is very interesting. Are you in love? What is the difference between having a crush on someone and falling in love? You think you're falling in love? You're really attracted, listen, attracted to a certain person, a certain person, but this has happened before and it was just a crush. How can you tell if it's real this time? Here's what our readers, here's what our readers said.
Could you uh, uh, close Sorry. the door, please? Sorry? Um, perdón, chicos, me están escuchando. ¿Sí? Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. No, no escucharon el grito. Cerrar la puerta. Close the door, please. Thank you. Ok. Sorry. Ok, so if you're falling in love, you'll find yourself talking to or telephoning the person for no reason. You might pretend there's a reason, but often there's not. You'll find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, da -da -da, a friend begins. You interrupt with my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. Oh my God. You might suddenly be interested in things you used to avoid. For example, when a woman asks me to tell her about football, I know she's falling in love, said a TV sports announcer. Okay, so you've fallen in love, <clears throat> but falling in love is one thing. And staying in love is another. How can you tell? As time passes, that you are still in love. If you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. You might not call him or her so often, but this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. You'll find that you can be yourself with this person when you first fell in love. You were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself, but now you can be totally honest. You can trust him or her to accept you just as you are. Falling in love is great. Staying in love is even better. Wow. Okay. So, do you have access to this conversation? Or if you don't, let me go ahead and um, send it to your WhatsApp group. So you can see it, okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do tonight is very simple. We just need to practice the reading, reading this conversation. It will be very entertaining if you do it entertaining. Don't forget, practice. There you go. It's on your WhatsApp group. So I'm <clears throat> going to split you one more time. Read, read, take turns and read at least one time each, okay? We are eight, so I'm making four groups, four couples, okay? Okay. Okay. Let's do it, guys. Okay. You can do it. Um, I start. I will. I will start. Okay. Are you in love? What is the difference between having a crush and someone and falling in love? You think you are falling in love. You are really attracted to a certain. Thank you. To a certain person, but but this but this has happened before, and it was just a crush. 
how can you tell if it's real this time? Here's what our reader, our reader, reader said. If you are falling in love, you find yourself talking to or telephoning the person for no reason. You might pretend there's a reason, but often there's not. You find yourself bringing, bringing this person every, every conversation. When I was in Mexico, a friend began. You interrupt with my boy, my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. You might suddenly be interesting and think you used to avoid. When a woman asks me to tell her all about football, I know she's falling in love, said a TV sport announcer. Okay, so you falling so you falling in love. But falling in love is one thing. And staying in love is another. How can you tell as time pass, pass, passes that you're still in love? If you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might, you might not talk as much, as much about the person you are in love with. You might not call him or her for often, but this person, but this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your in your life. You'll find that you can be yourself with this person. When you first fell in love, you you were prob probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself but now you can be totally honest you can trust him or her to accept you just as you are falling in love is great staying in love is even better okay good, good job okay pretend. let's see um yeah the first word repeat Pretend, 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 pretend. Uh, the the stress is on trend. Pretend. pretend. There you go. Pretend. pretend. Um, often. Often. Olvídate de la t. Often. Okay. Often. Bringing. Often. Bringing. There you go. Bringing. Bringing. Suddenly. 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 Okay, agarrate de suddenly life has new meaning to me. Clay, clay, okay. suddenly. Suena a hola, uh. suddenly. So, suddenly be. Interest. Suddenly be interested. 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 There you go. Repeat. Interesting. 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 That's interesting. That's interesting. Internet. That's interesting. 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 Perfect. Okay. Talk. Talk. Mm -hmm. Don't forget. It's not talk. Talk. Uh -huh. talk. 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 Okay. As much. As much. As much. As much. 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 There you go, as, as much. much. As much. Certain. Certain. Perfect. Certain. Okay. Certain. There you go. Okay. Keep going, guys. Great job. Okay. Great job. Okay, Carlos, it's your turn. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. No, 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 no,
o, o algo así, o era solo ajá, una un ilusión. Pasajero. Ah, ¿Cómo puedes decir si es real esta vez? Here's what our readers say. Aquí lo que nuestros, bueno, how can you tell? ¿Cómo decirme? puedes? Ajá. Ok, chicos, no estamos eh, traduciendo la lectura, sino que solo le estamos leyendo, ok? Esto uh, es articulación, pronunciación, so let's do it together, ok? Ok, ok, teacher. Continue. <laughs> Con, continue then. Eh, que, eh, you know? uh, okay. Can you read the second paragraph, please? Eh, bien, vamos sí. uno por uno. Vamos a leer primero uno una vez y luego el otro otra vez, ¿ok? Todo el párrafo. Okay. Vamos, come on. Ah, ya, yeah, ok. I start then. Okay. You think you're falling in love? You're really attracted to a Satan person. But this has happened before and it was just a crush. How can you tell if, if it's real, real this time? Here's what our readers say. If you're falling in love, you'll find yourself talking to or telephoning the person for no reason. You might pretend there's a reason, but often there's none. You'll find yourself bring the, bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, afraid the things, you interrupt with my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. You might suddenly be interested interested in things you used to avoid. When a woman asked me to tell her all about, all about football, I know she's falling in love, say a TV sport announcer. Uh, okay, so you fall in love, but falling in love is one thing, and staying in love is another. How can tell How can you tell as time passes that you're still in love? If you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. You might not call him or her so often, but this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. You'll find that you can be yourself with his With this person, when you first fell in love, you were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself. But now you can be totally honest. You can trust, you can trust him or her to accept you just as you are. Falling in love is great. Staying in love is even better. Okay. <sighs> Okay. okay, okay. Thank you. That was great, actually. Um, that was great. Um, bien, ¿quién es? Vamos a ver un segundo. Bien, los dos tienen apagada la cámara, si no los puedo ver. Kike, okay. Um, yo también. So, mm -hmm. Kike, interested. 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 Uh, listen, interested. <clears throat> interested interested Very interested good. better often often mm -hmm. fallen fallen when you have the past participle i've fallen i've fallen you've fallen you've fallen you've fallen in love you've fallen in love i'm falling in love i'm falling in love Ahí está bien. I'm, falling, I'm falling, falling in love. In love. Falling, fallen. Falling, mm -hmm. fallen. Okay. Next. Uh, hem. 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 Mm -hmm. El, ¿verdad? Hem. No decís uh, him. him. Solemos decir him es hem. Mm -hmm. Y la última. Totally. Totally. 
totally 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 and and the other attractive attractive attracted attractive mm -hmm. and the last one uh, is uh for example i i don't know what i'm saying singing 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 Mm -hmm. singing. Cantando, cantando. Singing. Uh -huh. singing. Never, never, nevertheless. Never nevertheless, less. sin embargo. Ne nevertheless, nevertheless. Nevertheless. Mm -hmm. No okay. obstante, sin embargo. Very good. Okay. 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 Mercy, it's your turn. Okay. Oh. Are you in love? Um, you think you're falling in love? You really attract your person person but this has happened before and it was just trash how can you tell it will this time her was our real fate is so funny you find yourself talking to our telephone Mm -hmm. The person, for no reason, she might pretend there's a reason. I don't know. You okay. find yourself screaming when I was in Mexico and friends again. You interrupt with my boyfriend may a great Mexican generous. You might suddenly be interested in things um, you use it to avoid. When a woman asks you to tell her all, all about her soul, I know she's calling me now. Say a TV is for a monster. Okay. So you falling falling in love, but falling in love is one thing, and staying in love is another. How can you tell a sign that you are still in love? If you stay in love, your organs. We change to my relationship. Relationship will change. You might not tell as much about the person you are in love with. You might not call him, him or her so often. But this person will never let become more and more important in your life. You'll find that you can be yourself with this person. When you first fell in love, you were probably afraid, afraid, afraid to admit the same things about yourself, but now you can be totally honest. You can trust through. You can trust him or her to ask. You just as you are falling in love, it's great. Stay in love is even better. Excellent. Okay, even better. Good even job. Better. Okay, Mercy, let's repeat. Okay. Interested. Interested. Okay, so you say intre interested. Interested. Used to avoid. Used to avoid. You say, I used to. I used to. There you go. Avoid. Okay. Now, you don't say al, al is all, all. All. Mm, todos, todo, all. all. Okay, you don't say talk, you say talk, talk. 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 Así como tic. Talk. There you go, talk. Okay. Certain. 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 Trust. Trust. That's an O, no, no, right? Trust. Trust. 
drugs. And the last one, even. Even. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Thank you, Good job. Okay, let's go. Okay, 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 okay. One, two, one, two, one, two. How was it, Richard? Was it good? Okay. Good, good. I'm just waiting for the rest of you guys to come out of the meeting rooms. Quiero una pregunta. Uh -huh. Este, para tener una lectura este, comprensiva de un texto así, ¿hay algún método o algo así? O, o netamente hay que leer eh, línea por línea. A ver, eh, Kike, hay cierta discrepancia entre profesores con respecto a ese tema. Muchos dicen que tenés que leer desde donde empieza la oración hasta el primer punto de el sin, primer signo de puntuación que te encontrás. Pero el problema es que si lees así como tú lo hiciste, eh, te quedas sin aire. Hay oraciones, sí, hay oraciones a veces en inglés que no tienen. Uh -huh. eh, entonces, la práctica te va a ayudar a articular adecuadamente qué es lo más importante leer, incluso en español. Entonces, eh, otros dicen, otros teachers dicen que tenés que leer cuatro palabras a la vez. ¿Ok? Y ir tomando un pequeño, una mínima pausa para ser entendible. Yo te recomiendo eso. La articulación de cada palabra que estás diciendo es lo que te va a permitir ser más entendible y sonar mejor cuando estás leyendo. La velocidad al hablar y al leer no es algo que vas a adquirir. Que se tiene que llevar a la par ambas cosas. Por Ajá, en la práctica no vas a llevar velocidad. Al aprender ya y hablar naturalmente sin estar repensando lo que vas a decir, uh -huh. ya pues vas a hablar mejor. Eh, vas a poder tomar velocidad cuando ya, ya hables naturalmente sin estar repensando lo que vas a decir. Uh -huh. Bien, chicos, eh, se nos acabó el tiempo, pero quiero tomarme un minuto para recordarles. Ya es nuestra cuarta semana. Hoy terminamos nuestra cuarta semana y es urgente que ya se termine la plataforma uh, a más tardar. O sea, ya la otra semana, el jueves, uh -huh. antes de la medianoche, el jueves, ya tiene que estar terminado todo en la plataforma porque se va a entregar el curso ese mismo día, o si se puede, pues, si no, el viernes eh, en la mañana, eh, la administración tendrá que estar entregando todo el papeleo, ya estamos, ser, seríamos cerca de Navidad, sería diciembre 18, pues hay que ser responsables y terminar todo en la plataforma más tardar, digamos, el miércoles de la otra semana, que esa uh -huh. sea nuestra fecha límite para terminar todos los ejercicios y exámenes en la plataforma. Uh, si conocen a alguno de sus compañeros de este grupo, me gustaría que se comunicaran con ellos o que se vuelvan más comunicativos, más participativos en el chat de WhatsApp uh -huh. para presionarlos un poco y que pues regresen, ¿no? Okay. A, a finalizar el curso, ¿ok? Les veo mañana de nuevo de 9 a 10, ¿ok? Yo mañana también. viernes. El lunes. <risa> ok. <risa> okay Thank you. Ok, see you on Monday. Good night. Okay. Bye bye. Good night.